I've always had an interest in investigations and being a detective and putting the pieces together in, in a puzzle. And I have really have a passion for finding that needle in a haystack. I have worked for Gavin De Becker for 14 years now, and I started after I finished my master's degree in cybercrime. My name is Brian Creeder. I'm vice president of investigations at Gavin De Becker & Associates. We handle at GDBA a thousand cases of inappropriate pursuit every year. It's a lot of cases. I teach on violence reduction using open source intelligence, and it's important in the threat assessment world to develop and gain all the intel that we can on the inappropriate pursuers that we're assessing. 1.7 billion people in this world check their Facebook profiles every single day. There's 300 million photos that are uploaded to Facebook every day. That is a lot of photos. Probably the largest photo repository out there known to man. So how do we find these people? Oftentimes, internet predators are hiding behind some type of anonymous uh, identity. So they're gonna, use, they're gonna use prepaid phone numbers, they're gonna use anonymous emails, and they're gonna use accounts that aren't associated with their names in any way, obviously. These are the sites in threat assessment investigations that we are most concentrating on. These sites have the most users and the most information is being shared on these sites. Are we searching them all? Absolutely. There is not a private profile out there these days that you can't get information on, no matter the person's privacy settings. I really like to outline, um, again, into the unfavorable and favorable factors. I see a lot of outside reports that are really scary. And every case that we work, it, it, it doesn't have to be scary. Our, our work is not only assessing the case, but also balancing a, a, our client's peace of mind. Our subjects might be anonymous. You want to establish that identity. You want to get an address history. After you get the address history, we're ordering all of our criminal records, right? From the counties, from the statewide repositories, and also federal criminal records as well. Our company does online privacy assessments for clients. So we'll search and provide a report on all of the public information that's associated with clients. There's a lot of compromised databases now. For years, we provided recommendations for public figures and celebrities to avoid being hacked. But when you tell them and show them that password that they use for their email account, their Amazon account, and everyone that's out there, then they start listening to you. Every password that I have used since eighth grade is available on the dark web. I really want to show everybody that passwords are available on the dark web now. And it's not a matter of if they're there, it's a matter of when they're going to be used now. Internet research is tough, it's tedious, it's time-consuming work. It's not for everybody.